Hello fantastic creatures, I'm Fanta Sims and today I have three shell challenges for you. The new pack Cottage Living is coming out in a few weeks and so as per usual with packs I tend to make shell challenges for them. Although I didn't recently make one for the latest game pack but anyway. So a couple months ago I made this castle and it was actually part of a, I used it as a demo castle for a different kind of video. You guys liked it so much I turned it into a shell challenge but many of you probably didn't even know this was a shell challenge and also um, a lot of you needed more time so I put out a poll on Twitter and I asked here on YouTube if you guys wanted more time to work on the shell and if I should extend the deadline to allow you guys to use the new cottage living pack to help furnish this build and you guys highly requested that I extend the deadline. So instead what I thought I would do is provide three different shell challenges for you. We've got this massive one here, this massive castle, and then there's going to be a 40 by 30 I'll show you in a second and a 20 by 30. So it gives you some options so that if this is way too huge and too much to tackle then there's some smaller options as well. So here's just a quick view of the castle. There is a lot of rooms to decorate so so you've got your work cut out for you if you want to do this one. Now you might be wondering why the roofs are so tall. Um, the game doesn't normally allow you to do this I did use a mod by Arnie it's called pro build mod and it allows you to extend the roofing however I've uninstalled the mod to show you that it still works um, without the mod so you don't need any mods in order to use the shell but you can't edit the height so look if I try to make it any taller um, it won't it won't let me that's as tall as the regular game will allow you to make it so you can adjust this roofing if you want to but you won't be able to make it as tall as these that you see here unless you have Arnie's mod installed but I, I wanted to at least give you the availability of having these really cool tall roofing in a shell challenge and if you're new to my channel then let me explain the rules for my shell challenges so a lot of shell challenges say that you can't touch the walls you can't make them any bigger I say throw caution to the wind and you can do whatever the heck you want with these shells my goal is to just kind of steer you in a direction to stimulate some creativity of your own to give you some ideas and if you look at this and you say oh actually I would rather this stick out a bit further or I want to delete these three weird looking towers here because I think they're ugly and I don't like them <laughs> that's totally fine you can remove them just get rid of them do whatever you want now um, with this particular shell it is gonna say that I used some packs and that's because I didn't have the energy to go through and change everything to base game because originally the castle I made used several different packs so um, it's fine if you don't own any of the packs and you place this on your lot it's just going to replace them with like base game versions of everything so that's that's fine you don't need any packs to join in this challenge whatever packs you have you can use the only rules are no custom content and that's basically it <laughs> so have fun and use the hashtag fantashell I'll put that in the description below but there's a lot that you can do with this castle and there's not a ton of room for adding the farming stuff if you want to create like a little farm to go with the cottage living like adding the barns the sheds for the animals so if you want to delete stuff like I said you can do that now let's check out the second shell that I have for you guys let's just have a quick front shot so you can get a better sense of what this castle looks like let's just swivel around you can get a view I went a little crazy with the platforms or the, not the platforms the foundations in the back I just I don't know I wanted to create something visually funky <laughs> so there's a lot of little patios that you can decorate there we go Full sweeping shot of everything. Okay, now let's jump over to the next one. Okay, now I'm in Windenburg and I put it on this lot because the lighting is so good, but the trees really block it. So this might not be an ideal location if you want to upload it to gallery because these trees are all in the way, but I just thought the lighting is pretty good for showing it off as the shell. This one's a bit funky too. And normally with shell challenges, the roofing isn't included. But my thought is that all of us are at different levels in our building journey. And some people just find roofing really difficult. And so I like to provide a bunch of options for you. Just so that if maybe you're a newer builder and you're not familiar with how to do all this kind of stuff, then you can you can just dive right in and there's already some roofing for you if you want it. And if you don't like this roofing, guess what? You can delete it and do your own thing. Same with, like I said before, if let's say you're like, I like this area over here, but I want this area to be empty so that I can put a mini little farm over here. Then feel free to delete these little towers I created. So it has a little river and I already covered it in rocks to save you time. You are so welcome. <laughs> so I already put the rocks in. Again, you can delete this if you want. All you have to do is delete the pool and it will delete most of the rocks. And so you can do this, delete that, and then just like highlight all these and delete all the rocks like so but they're there if you want them with this little river and then I did like a weird bridge it's kind of a, a gazebo bridge so like if you wanted to build a gazebo around it I don't know whether the debug gazebo that comes with cottage living I don't know whether that will be debug but I kind of I tried to design this with the cottage living pack in mind so I, I wanted to put lots of roofing in because that new roofing is so gorgeous but even if you don't have that pack and you're not going to get that pack that's totally fine because 
any of the game roofing you can make work with this and we've got like this little medieval shopping area over here and then I don't know what I was thinking with this kind of underground not underground but like under the tower part <laughs> I don't know I was just trying to come up with some funky ideas of what you could do create lots of different levels and layers that you can decorate, have fun with, use all the different objects. And I covered some of the foundation over here. You can put some plants around it just to give it some more shape to it. I did use Toolmod to do that, but again, you can delete it. Like if you if you delete these pieces, it's just got the basic foundation underneath. And if you prefer the way that that looks, then delete this like so. But I just wanted to add a bit more detail to it because some of you are on console, so you don't have access to using Toolmod. So I just wanted to create a little bit of detail if that even is helpful for you guys and then here's the back we've just got this little patio area in the back and then the beginning of like the river that wraps around and then this kind of bridge area and if you own different packs um, you can do like look even with base game you can do it with like these pieces just like oversize them and then you've instantly got like an under archway or whatever or you can get creative with tool mod or I know the new pack has some core has some new corbels and so that might look really nice underneath this as well so this is another option and it is a bit tight in places because I created a lot of tiny little towers so I did provide some or I already put some ladders in just to give you a sense of where you could put them but again do what you want I mean these shells are for you to do what you want with to delete things I did put a staircase over here it is a bit of a tight squeeze in places you can delete walls add walls create whatever shaped rooms you want I did go a little crazy with all these little tower pieces but I just wanted to create like this little medieval city and you can place this on a bigger lot if you want so let's say for example you wanted to place it on a bigger lot you can however because I used Arnie's mod to make this roofing so tall if you try and move it over so like if I try and move the lot and let's say I want to move it over here to allow some room for like farms around the area. It won't let me. It says roof pitch can't be placed that high because there's a conflict of the code. Like it's not reading the roofing very well. So I think you might have to have Arnie's mod installed in order to move it around the pro build mod. So that could be an option or you can delete the roofing, like delete this tower roofing and do your own roofing. It just won't be able to be quite this high, but that is potentially an option if you can get it to work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, now let's take a look at our third and final option. Okay, so here we have like a medieval inspired country cottage farmhouse kind of estate thingy. I don't know. I kind of created this area here to look like the front of a bar. Now, I don't know with the new pack if you can place the animal sheds indoors and like size them down so that you can have the cows or the llamas indoors. So you might want to adjust this if it turns out that you can't do that or you can leave it like this and maybe put like a shed off to the side. Or again, you can try placing this on a bigger lot. I did use Arnie's mod for this roofing as well I think yeah that's as tall as it normally can be it's not that much of a difference so if you want to change this roof height you should be able to place this on any lot size so you can put it on a bigger one if you want like a 40 by 30 50 by 50 or even bigger than that if you want you can add more to this build um, create a farm around it if you want to I actually used um, some a concept design that was used for Sims Medieval like you know the old uh, back when Sims 3 was out the Sims Medieval iteration they had a build that looked kind of similar to this and I modeled it after that because I'm obsessed with Sims Medieval and I I want one in the sims 4 so anyway i just used some base game doors and windows just to give you a sense of what you could do but again delete this stuff if you don't want it and come up with your own stuff we've got this massive chimney off to the side which will go perfect with the new cottage living chimneys or the chimneys we already have in the game and then this little bell tower or whatever kind of tower you want to use it for you again you can delete it you can reshape this however you want i already because it's a funky shape i already put a staircase that leads to this upstairs area so there is some room for some other rooms you can put a fireplace over here and have like a big master suite with a bathroom or whatever you can make some smaller rooms if you want again we have like this little stable area but you can turn it into something else if you want to this entry area and then stairs that lead both upstairs and downstairs into a basement and I just slapped together a basement you can change the way that this the shape of this looks just keep in mind that when you change it there is a slight hill you see how the land curves up a bit and that's because some of the basement extends out a bit but it actually works perfectly because it makes it go flush up against these walls you can pretty much make the basement however shape you want and there you go three shell challenges in one so this will be great for the cottage living pack but also if you don't have that pack any other pack will work fine and let's pull up the calendar here and so the pack is coming out on the 22nd so to allow enough room one two three four let's just do till the end of 
August. I think that will work best. So let's just say that the due date is August 31st. Make it super easy. It's a Tuesday, so it's kind of an odd day to have it finish on, but whatever. I think it'll be easier to remember just the end of August. <laughs> so that will give you over a month to uh, complete this. So the only things you need to remember is do whatever you want to these shells. Use the hashtag Fantashell so I can find it in the gallery and it's due August the 31st. And then I will tour them. Some of you have already completed the castle shell challenge. Like only, I think only a couple of you have finished it. So I might do videos up until August 31st, like as you guys are finishing them so that it's not just one huge, massive 40, 50 minute tour video, but like I'll break it up into like smaller 10 minute videos. So we'll be tour I'll be touring them periodically. But yeah, you guys have fun. If you have any questions, just comment below. And I hope you guys have a blast trying to decorate these shells. And I can't wait to see what you do with them. And until the next video, I freaking love you guys. Thank you.